Hi, Jim Pryor here. We're at a three bed semi-detached house where our clients are suffering from noise from their neighbors in this open plan kitchen extension. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna carry out a sound test before and after soundproofing. We're gonna get an independent company to set up sound testing equipment in this room and the other side of the party wall in the neighbor's property too. It's a UCAS accredited sound test. So if you've ever wanted to know what different soundproofing your home can make, Keep watching. Our clients are suffering from all the usual noisy neighbour noises, hearing conversation, TV, music, dogs barking, plug sockets, light switches, banging doors, and all the day-to-day -day living noises of the neighbours. And this is making them feel stressed and annoyed and worried about their privacy. They want to entertain in this kitchen extension without bothering their neighbours. And they want to enjoy a nice, quiet family meal together without being disturbed too. Using our four step method, we will reduce the noise by treating the main cause, the direct path, the indirect path, the fixtures and fittings. On this particular kitchen extension project, there are a number of main causes. The first main cause is this RSJ boxing in. Now this indirect noise path is actually louder than the direct noise path through this party wall. This uninsulated void is channeling the noise to and from the party wall and allowing noise to transmit across the whole of the property. Just like any wind instrument, the noise is louder at the other end. This uninsulated RSJ is one of the reasons our clients can hear conversation from the neighbor's kitchen up in their bedroom above. Now the second main cause is this popular dot and dab technique which has been applied to this entire extension wall and part of the party wall too. Now this dot and dab technique on this extension wall is amplifying the noise from the neighbours and this is another example of an indirect noise path which is louder than the direct noise path through the party wall. Our clients can hear the neighbours kitchen noises louder here on the extension wall than on the party wall even though as you can see this extension wall isn't even attached. So the first thing we need to do is address those main causes. We need to remove that dot and dab plasterboard and open up that RSJ before we do any soundproofing. A lot of the noise is coming directly through the party wall, so we will have to install the latest products on the market to barrier that noise directly. To treat the direct noise path, we will be installing TPS 80W to the party wall alcoves and TPS 65 to the chimney stack. The indirect noise paths are those areas where the noise is coming around, such as the extension wall, the RSJ, the ceiling, the separating wall between the lounge and the kitchen wall, which is perpendicular, and the floor. To treat the indirect noise path on the kitchen extension wall, we will be installing the TPS 50W. To treat the RSJ, we'll be first sound deadening it, insulating the web of the RSJ, and installing TPS 30 to box it in. With a concrete floor and underfloor heating and engineered flooring on top, we just need to make sure this floor is isolated from the new soundproofing investment. The ceiling will be insulated from above to prevent any noise coming over the soundproofing investment. It will also reduce the noise transmitting from the client's kitchen up to the main bedroom above. Once the soundproofing systems are installed and all the treated areas are skimmed with wet plaster finish, we will fit new skirting, architrave and fixtures and fittings in a way that ensures the soundproofing is not compromised. This will include special acoustic hoods for the downlighters in the ceiling, which will be installed from above. These prevent the noise going through the lighting holes and up to the bedroom, but also stop the upstairs neighbour noise transmitting through the ceiling into the client's kitchen. Before we start removing anything, let's carry out some sound tests to see what we can hear. And let's carry out that UCAS accredited sound test that gives us the sound insulation value of the party wall. Right, so the guys have gone next door to play some music so we can hear what our clients have been experiencing through the party wall. Okay guys, we're ready, so make some noise, let's see what we can hear.
Y yeah, we can hear you! So, we know what our clients have been experiencing from their neighbours, so let's go next door and let's hear what our clients have been hearing from the neighbours. So we're here in the neighbour's kitchen. The guys have gone next door to play some music to see what we can hear through the party wall. OK guys, let's play some music, see what we can hear. Okay, so we know what the clients have been experiencing and we know what the neighbours have been experiencing. Both our clients and the neighbours don't have any privacy. So let's carry out that a proper UCAS accredited sound test to get that all important sound insulation decibel value between the party wall. So here we are, we've got the sound test equipment set up. Let's carry out the sound test and see what result we get before we do any soundproofing. So the result from the UCAS accredited sound test is 47 decibels, means the separating party wall has better sound insulation than the current new build regulations. So would pass a sound test, even though our clients and their neighbours hear conversation, music and TV through the party wall and have no privacy. Make sure you watch part two of this series where we show you how we transformed our clients' lives.